Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, aka Tattooed Mama. If you are new here, welcome. I love doing makeup reviews and this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be testing out two new Milani products. I mean, there's three products here, but we're only going to be using one of these lip products. So if you're curious on how these wear throughout the day, I'm going to do a full wear test, then just keep watching. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to start off with this new Milani Scream Queen Foundation. Now, I have seen a few reviews on this, and it's like 50-50. Some people don't like it, and other people absolutely love it. So, I'm just like, you know what? I love Milani. Um, if you guys haven't seen me do a review on their new Gilded palette, so you can go check it out. Their palettes are amazing. Also, if you're interested in this look... This eyeshadow isn't from Milani, it's from ColourPop in the Juvia's Place palette, and this tutorial will be up very soon. But yeah, um, let's test out this foundation. So I got the lightest shade, I'm pretty sure. It's 100 Classic Alabaster, since I am very pale. Um, this is a luminous natural skin finish, buildable light to medium coverage. It's long wearing, and that's pretty much all it says. Um, it says it's a digital blue light filter, which is pretty cool. So I just love the packaging. I think it's gorgeous. I think Milani's packaging has always been amazing. And of course, it does come with a pump. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and then just use a beauty blender to blend it in. Any day. Here we go. Okay. I'm just going to do this much. I'll probably... now. Nah, I'm going to do one more pump. So I primed my face with the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f., one of my favorite primers. Now right off the bat, eh, it doesn't have, I'm going to do one more little pump. It doesn't have like a crazy scent. It smells a little like paint, but not like crazy. Here I am looking crazy. Okay, Wet Beauty Blender. I'm going to blend this in. So, so far, I, I think the color is going to match me pretty well. I usually don't have an issue with, uh, like, lighter shades matching me. And I can always, like, darken it up with some bronzer. So, of course, very light coverage. But it did cover some of the redness that was on my cheeks. So, I'm going to go ahead and blend this all in. It's very, it's looking very skin-like which I like. I do like foundations like this um, on days where, I mean, I just want like a very light coverage. Like if I'm going to work, if you didn't know, I clean houses for work. So it's nice to have a very not heavy foundation on because I'm sweating and stuff. And I feel like if I'm wearing tons of makeup while I'm working and sweating, I feel like I start, um, I break out, but then I do like getting out of the house and looking like a little put together. You know what I mean? So first impression, as you can see, very flawless natural finish. I'm not seeing any cakiness or anything. I do see, like, do see the, uh, some luminosity to it. So yeah, it says luminous skin, natural skin, finish, which that's exactly what it is. So we're going to go in with um, one more layer and just put that all over because I do want a bit more coverage today. All right, so I did get about a medium coverage from this. My freckles are still peeking through. You can kind of see a little bit of redness, but it's nothing like, um, I'm like, ugh about I think my concealer will cover it but so far I absolutely love the way that my skin is looking it looks very fresh and hydrated and this color match is like absolutely perfect for my skin so I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterward don't mind the lips I just lined them but I wanted to show you what my face is looking like after I applied my Powder, bronzer, highlighter, all that. It's looking amazing. 
in my opinion. I really do like it. So, so far, so good. I'm going to say check-in time for that was like, I've been sitting here doing like the rest of my makeup and listening to music and stuff. So I would say check-in time was like 1.30. Um, so now I'm lining my lips. Well, I lined my lips with the Star Looks lip liner. And now I'm going to go in with the Milani uh, Ludic ludicrous matte lip crayon and this one is in the shade 120 can't even it's a very pretty like mauvey pink uh i'll put up any more information right here on the screen so you guys um can know a little bit more about this it's going on really smoothly okay my lips are feeling like a little on the dry side today well they always feel dry but um this is very creamy and the pigmentation is nice um we'll wait and see when it dries down to be matte not quite sure it really goes with this look today it kind of sort of matches but yeah i'm gonna let it dry down and then i'll be right back okay so it's been um like seven minutes and this still had this lipstick, this lip crayon hasn't fully dried down yet. Now it's saying it's matte, but it claims that um, it's creamy as well. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go with that. It's dried down a little bit. I do really like the color. And yeah, so check-in time for the foundation, I'd say, um, is 1.30. And then the lips is like 150. So they're like a 20 minute difference, which is not like that crazy. So I'm going to wear this all day, come back here in a few hours, do a checkup on how the foundation is looking and the lips as well, because I'm going to eat some food and um, have some water and stuff like that. And we'll see how long the lips last for. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so it's an hour later. It's an, it's an, it's an. It's an hour later and my lips aren't fully like dried down yet. I'm going to do like a kiss. Yeah, see, it does transfer a bit. Um, and I'm actually about to eat this. Um, I got some Panda Express. Um, I have a lot of errands and stuff to run today and Matt's at work. So I'm just like I'm craving some honey walnut shrimp. So I got some of that and some chow mein. Very greasy. So we'll see what it looks like on the lips. Um what the lips look like afterward hoping it's not bad because i just remembered i did not bring the lipstick with me to touch it up so we will see okay so i just ate lunch and the lipstick is looking pretty good it wore off a little bit like here but that's kind of normal other than that i think it's still looking pretty good all right guys <clears throat> excuse me so it is six hours later and i'm ready to take this makeup off i'm in the middle of my hair is blue it's crazy i took some i did like the hair color remover because i'm changing my hair no it's not going to be blue forever it just when i use the color remover it removed the purple and then my hair turned blue so now i gotta bleach it but anyway I'm going to turn the camera around, show you guys what this makeup's looking like after six hours, six, seven hours, and yeah. All right, so I have not touched my lips up um, whatsoever. I realized that I've been like, you know, doing that, like looking my lips a lot. And um, I just ate some dinner. I ate soup. Uh, but I did want to say before... This, before I ate dinner, the lipstick was on point. So, I feel like this is a very nice lipstick, one that's not going to get all over the place. Um, I always say that. I always feel like I do, on my lipstick test, I am always end up eating something uh, to where it wears off a bit. Um, that's just like me. I don't know. So... I don't know, I'm actually pretty impressed by the lipstick. Stayed on pretty well. I did get the blue one, which looks very pretty, but I already know that that one is gonna be wearing off in the middle. 
for sure. So if I wore that one, it would probably be just for like a video or for pictures or something. Um, so it had pretty good staying powder, uh, powder, power. I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, so now for the face. Uh, so I did want to say I had to wash my hair underneath the sink and water flew all over my forehead. So some of my makeup came off. But other than that, I feel like, like, look how awesome. This looks so good in my opinion. My bronzer stayed on, my highlight stayed on really well. We're off on my chin a bit, but that's nothing new. But other than that, I think everything looks great. I just ran a lot of errands and stuff today, filmed a few videos and stuff, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it a heck of a lot. So I give this foundation a thumbs up for six hours. It's amazing. I feel like I could wear it for another two hours and have it look great. Yeah, I definitely recommend this one to you guys. So far, the foundations I've tried out, well, not the um, new Wet n Wild one, the dewy one. That one did not work for me, but the Maybelline one, no, the CoverGirl one worked awesome too. So check that out if you guys haven't checked it out. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure you hit that thumbs up button if you have not. Subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests on any foundations or any makeup products you want to see a review um, of and a like wear it test, then um, comment it down below. I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo.